You're very busy, Laura Baker. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yes, I am busy, but I love coming here to talk to you. Thank you, V. Yes, thank you so much for being here. So, Laura, let's talk a little bit about uh, what you're doing with the Hackers Brief and how everyday citizens are bringing their information to you and through the organization and helping their communities. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. So we had we set the first thing we did with the hackers brief is we set up a phishing at cyberwyoming.org email address and people can forward their emails, forward their texts. Um, they also can describe a call that they might have received. And we anonymize make it anonymous, verify it make it anonymous, and then we put it into a, a weekly publication it's called The Hacker's Brief that is picked up by uh, Wyoming newspapers statewide as well as organizational newsletters. So they use it for training and to alert their friends, family, and neighbors in their communities. What a novel idea. This is awesome. <laughs> this is taking, uh, you know, being a good citizen to the next level. I love it. And you know what I also love about the program is that or the brief itself is that the the concepts that are you know malicious actors are perpetrating in one area sometimes or on one individual sometimes don't always get shared some people are a little too nervous to share or might be embarrassed to share in you know this scenario not only are you know the potential targets or potential victims sharing but they're sharing on a scale where multiple parties um, in, in multiple places will be able to see and be helped by this. I think it's absolutely amazing.